left this place a long time ago, but it's home. All I cared about was how I was going to feed myself and how I was going to give my mom a life worth living. But it's hard. It's hard to do that when all your friends are passionate about the wrong things. Whenever I work out or talk to someone before the podcast, I have better, it's like a warm up, you know what I mean? It's better, I have better conversation skills. Because last time, the last one, yeah, I was in my bed all day waiting to record the podcast. So that's like 4 p.m. to when we actually record it, right? And as soon as I got there, it's like there's too much things rushing in my mind because I want to say shit. So you have anxiety? Yeah, so it's like I automatically, I don't know what to, to come back with. I don't know what to, you know what I mean? Word. So every time I try like, oh, before we record, I try to work out to just get my mind off things. So working out, yeah, Loki. That that's what gets rid of your anxiety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think anxiety. I said this so many times. Anxiety is honestly our our trigger for um for self defense. Yeah, is our animal instinct. If you're in danger, it yeah. tells you like, yo, you're in danger right now. Don't die. <laughs> that's literally what it is. I swear to God. Yeah, yeah. So I think what if we understand like. Okay, our bodies are supposed to be doing shit naturally. We're supposed to be going out and hunting. Yeah. We should be sweating. If you're not sweating, all mm. the toxins in your in your body are just sitting yeah. all day long. I can only imagine like if depending on how bad your diet is, <laughs> you could just stay like that and just like live in almost a rotting cell. Man. Yeah. Because low key, I don't know what it is too. Cause I don't think it's ADHD, but like sometimes I stutter a lot. Yeah. But that's because it's like so much things I want to get stuff out quick. So it's like, yo, you know, I, I used to stutter when I was a kid. Oh yeah, yeah like I a lot to, though. A lot. Word. And I used to not be able to say the letter L. Just so, like on its own. You know, how some some fobs they go like, uh, hello. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what the fuck? No, I I used to not be. Able, I would call myself like Carlos. Ew, what the hell? Yeah, because oh, I couldn't so say that's L. Where you, that's where you got your username from. Yeah, Carlos. Carlos. Yeah, oh. that's because I couldn't say the word. I couldn't say the letter L. Word. And anything, Rari Pop. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, no, that, like I don't know why though. How'd you, do you fix it? Is do you it? think? Do you think? Um, why do you think like Asians specifically are like that? There, there was some uh, brand that some uh, Chinese guy mm -hmm. he named it so that um, fuck, I forgot what, what brand it is. Oh, Lululemon. 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 <laughs> because uh, so they couldn't pronounce it. You know what I mean? He, so made, it he did funny. it on purpose. Yeah. Because he's from Vancouver. Yeah, exactly. And in Vancouver, <laughs> there's hella Chinese people. Yo, that makes so sense. So it's like Lululemon. Lululemon. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's evil, bro. Facts. It's fucked. That's evil. Do you, yeah. think, do you think there's people right now that when they make their brands, they try to make it as a joke? Cause mm. you know you know how you you came with that theory about like our logo the black lamp probably because it's funny <laughs> it's funny yo I'm sure I'm sure some projects because mm -hmm. imagine this we we see um great films like The Godfather yeah. we see like great projects like who knows certain albums freaking uh, vultures right yeah yeah but do we we don't really understand the backstory behind it what if one of those things mm. that we really adore or, or solidify as like that's a historic piece of art yeah, what if that shit was just made as a troll just a troll yeah like a straight troll but i feel it it's a better feeling for you though mm. it's not for the public it's low-key better for you because it's like they'll never know this you know what i mean yeah because like, if you know, it when, worked it worked yeah, when, when drake throws that the little lyric in ah oh, he'll never know that <laughs> yo lil yachty's uh i took the walk to yeah. poland what was it imagine if that's a troll fam like that, oh yeah <laughs> it, that had to be a troll yeah i don't think he was serious nah he probably wasn't to be honest at, at this day i yeah. don't think anybody's that serious anymore i feel like if you're trying or you're too serious at mm -hmm. it yeah. it almost doesn't happen for you do you think that's true mm -hmm. like when if, when you're trying or you're you're like too serious about something yeah it doesn't work for you 100 percent. yeah i i do my best like even video games mm -hmm. as soon as i start laying back it's like i flow state yeah it's flow state because i get to think it better it's not like oh am i doing this 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 you know what i mean i'm yeah. just like let it come, let, let let the play run and let's see what it is. Do you would you say you're in flow state most of your life? Um no. I Only when so. you're like a good time. Yeah. So like working out, uh mm. taekwondo, yeah. Probably the podcast, I get into flow state, but mm. everything else is I'm thinking about the next thing. You know what I mean? So it's choppy. What do you call like the opposite of flow state? Just just not flowing? Yeah. <laughs> 
you're, you're thinking too much. Overthinking, probably. <laughs> Overthinking? Yeah. I had, yo, I don't know if you, I told you this, but yeah. so you had um uh, that slur or stutter problem. I yeah. had, I had like a little bit of Tourette's when I was, was younger. Actually? Yeah. So, you Wait, know, what was your thing? I, I used to do the, <laughs> and my dad, yo, my dad used to get so mad at me because he didn't want it to keep going. Yeah. And I kept doing it at the table. <laughs> Wait, right? what is that? Like, I don't know. It's like, it's like, I just kept nose? doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Or I went, <laughs> No way! Yeah, yeah, Are you I, serious? Yeah, yeah. It would have got bad if my dad never stopped paging me about it. Oh, because shit. sometimes I, I don't know. Like sometimes I catch myself like hm, if I do it, like oh fuck, I'll, I'll try and do it again. You know? Hm. Where? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Th- there's a reason I don't stream because I, I say uh, bad words. Like I have the urge to say bad words when I'm, I'm not. I don't know why, but it's like weird. Whoa, so like I didn't before know this about before you, the bro. stream, before the stream, I'll be like, fuck. You know what I mean? It's weird. I've never, I don't think I've ever told you that. Yeah, I didn't know yeah, that yeah. about you. Stuff. You should see me before stream. I get mad anxiety because it's like, fuck, I'm going to say that word. Really? Yeah, yeah. As long as you don't say like, the N-word or nothing. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a... <laughs> but you know that girl, uh, Swedenita? Sweden, who's that? So she's she's a famous um, TikToker influencer, but she's like streamer too. Yeah. And she has Tourette's and she's known as like the Tourette streamer. Okay. They had her on the dating show with KSI and like the oh, side men, nah. right? She yo. said it, bro. Yo, so she would just say like random shit for each person that came because each person would trigger a different <laughs> tick. Don't tell me. You know what I'm saying? The moment KSI, KSI walked in front of her. <laughs> that's a joke. That's funny. She hit it. <laughs> no, nah, there's no way. They, that had to be planned for comedy reasons. No, like that's that's just her tick, bro. That's just what she does with her Tourette's. No, nah, nah, KSI definitely was like, yo, for the comedy, we have to make you say. Because that no way... That it just it just comes out because if you're saying no, bitch that's to everyone how it else, works with people though. Really? Yeah, that's how it works with people. Word. I watched this video. I don't don't think I'm a villain, but yeah, I yeah. watched this video. It's it's like eight different people with Tourette's all in I the same room. Oh, you yeah, seen yeah, it too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then it was just interesting to see. You feel me? And one fake, one faker, right? No, not that. Oh, okay, never mind. Wait, there's something like that? Yeah, there is. How did and, it go? And it's like, hi, <laughs> but they got caught because it's like it's fake. Oh, yeah, yeah. It has to be very like just natural. Exactly. I I realized there was this guy when uh, I was at a car a car dealership with my parents one time, mm. and it's so slight, like you wouldn't really notice because certain things aren't too um like verbal or okay. too like extravagant. Every time there would sign something on paper, mm. his eyebrows would, like, move. Yeah. It's, it's Is that form of Tourette's? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Whoa, I didn't well, know Well, at least I think so. Because because it would only happen at the very end of a... Oh, It's okay. so weird. It was really... Because that might be OCD. That's OCD? Because it's, like, doing something... It's, like, a routine. Do I don't it. know. I don't have it, so yeah. I can't really speak on it still, but... Yeah. My sister used to have bad OCD, too. Like, whenever she went in her room, she would close the door twice... Wait, why? Because it's she can't go into a room without, you know what I mean, doing it twice. What do you, you ever ask her like what goes through her head with it? No. She just says it's I don't know, I just can't. Uh, there's no there's literally no explanation. Because I was talking to Max. Yeah. Fam, my my what cinematographer does he have? has OCD. Oh, so Max Max has OCD. So what does he do? So he said like, like certain things go- trigger him. <laughs> like a, a few things like trigger him yeah. with uh if it's not too perfect okay like well he doesn't shoot too perfect anyway uh-huh. but he told me this one story when he was younger because it was, apparently it was bad when he was younger okay like he would see like let's say a, a chalkboard and there's a little bit of a, a mark that wasn't cleaned off mm. he would just be triggered by it oh yeah that would but, piss me off but honestly mm. i think we all have a little bit of that yeah it's it's like a unsettlingness which is good though because i feel like it's it's low-key a superpower but these days i'm the opposite why these days if it's too perfect i get uncomfortable <laughs> i guess yeah like if i'm if i'm in um a hospital and everything's too straight uh-huh. i get a little bit uncomfortable so you want something like crooked yeah is that saying? weird nah i don't think so because you know how um what's that thing called where it's everything's too um you know when it feels fake when it feels like fabricated mm. yeah, when yeah. life feels like a simulation when something's like that you don't i start like that. yo my he- okay my my thoughts are weird right okay i i sometimes think what if i get trapped in hell like like what if this is fake like what if what if you're you're stuck in something yeah. because you did something bad and like where you are this this scenario you yes. didn't realize it but you're actually stuck mm. in like a limbo but you yeah. just don't bag it so there was this time I was um I had a mini panic attack. Okay. I bet there's like a therapist that can diagnose me or something about yeah, this. Yeah. But I think it's just me 
feeling too uncomfortable with the idea of um, is something real or not? Because mm. as me, who I am, like I'm a, the- I'm a yeah, yeah, you conspiracy think, theorist. You're curious. Right? You're curious. Mm. There's there's a theory mm-hmm. about the Looney Tunes. You know, um, the Wiley e. Coyote and what's his name, the the Roadrunner. Yeah, yeah, the so Roadrunner. The Roadrunner and the Wiley e. Coyote. There's a theory. What is it? That they're in purgatory. Purgatory. But all they that do they're is run act- around. That they're actually in hell. Okay. So think about it, right? Every single time Wiley e. Coyote gets close to killing the Roadrunner, what happens to him? He doesn't succeed. Okay. And he fails in a ways that are almost supernatural. Like he would cut the bridge, but the mountain would fall. fall yeah, but yeah, the, yeah. the bridge would stay up. Okay, so. so the theory goes that even the technology that he uses, the different Acme, you know that brand? Acme yeah, yeah, always yeah. has like different rocket launchers, Never different worked. tanks. None of it works. So there's actually a deep meaning behind the whole show. Okay. And it's actually to represent the fall of man due to technology and the addiction Whoa. to technology because if you Is bag that it deep yeah because if you bag it he's addicted to keep on trying to catch this rotor and even though he fails okay. and trying new inventions see which one works which one works which one works yeah but he never makes it it's almost like his life is in a limbo of constant failing constant yeah. pain constant and that's literally hell right yeah yeah but there's also another theory uh-huh. um that the roadrunner isn't just the roadrunner what is he but he's actually the ceo of the acme company so that's why they're like testing all of these oh so this whole the thing weaponry. is a test yeah so that's what it could be too okay honestly the road the roadrunner might just be the simulation of it the whole thing's a simulation just to test the mm-hmm. the products okay. and wiley himself might just be like a clone that they keep just using oh. so he gets packed up they just send in another wiley to keep testing the yeah because the there's there's i don't think he dies right because mm-hmm. even though it, uh, the mountain falls him there's gonna be another there's episode. another there's another yeah. wiley right yeah, regardless so that was a theory that's crazy but you know okay this is gonna be like political but uh-huh. you know like you, you know what's really c- kind of fucked if you really bag it what? you ever wonder why we're sending so much money to the wars check this out no nah, i don't this know. is this is like real conspiracy though mm-hmm. but the reason they're sending so much money to the wars and so much weaponry yeah is so they can test it out. Check this out, man. If they have new tech, mm. every single month, they probably have a new weapon. Mm-hmm. When do they get the chance to test it out if there's no war? They get to test it out with the wars that are going on. So what do they do? They donated it. Yeah. Oh, here, try this new rocket launcher that we oh, made. Okay, that makes sense. Test it out, see if it works. Yeah, yeah, that's why we're sending so much thing to, th- yeah. So by the time, instead of, instead of like using Doing it, it the first try. Yeah, mm. they test it in a real war. I, th- I think it's kind of dark. It's, yeah. It's a bit dark to me because mm-hmm. it's almost, it's almost you're sending weapons of new destruction, unknown destruction because it's not tested yet. Yeah. To test on real humans like in conflict. Yeah. And I don't even think like the news, because if, if we ha- are sending so much money to them and they're using new shit. Yeah. The news wouldn't even say that oh they're testing new stuff right mm-hmm. because they wouldn't give that information out to um like say uh an opponent if we they, they say, can't that's they what can't. i'm saying they literally can't because if they do then that's their card yeah that's their wild card that's shown exactly so a person like me who i i don't even know what's going on the whole time they're using that money for that i, I didn't mm-hmm. know that because the news doesn't tell me there was this movie i watched a while ago yeah, it's yeah. called moon mm-hmm. and it's a really fuck concept because it got me thinking yeah Let's let's say technology comes to the point where we can create clones of each other. Yeah. And the workforce becomes what? what? Would would you really need more people if you could clone people now? No, nah, you don't. So what would happen to the population? I don't know. Send us at the fr- front line I, to die off, just like a sacrifice type thing. Because if you think about it, if you really deep it, if there's let's say let's say there's elitist of people that yeah. have the power to clone people now. And we don't have to use the people that don't listen to us. Exactly. We can just replace them. Yeah. That's fucked, yeah. right? So there was this movie I watched called Moon. And the concept was there's this guy that lives on the moon. And his whole job is to go run errands. I think he's collecting like certain samples, okay. fixing machines, and he comes back. Yeah. But he's been working that same job, I think, on the moon by himself yeah. for six months. And by the sixth month, he was getting sick. Okay. And he felt, oh, man, I, I better get home. So he asked for a leave to go back to Earth. Mm-hmm. 
little did the audience know, like it shows in the film, when he goes into the escape pod yeah. to go back home to Earth, the escape pod he goes in just burns him alive oh, shit. and disintegrates him. Yeah. And what happens? Another clone of the same person wakes up as if it's the same day. On the moon. On the moon, just still oh, on the moon. Fuck. So it's a constant cycle of... It's like a clone yeah, getting replaced. Yeah, he's working, he's working. And then by the time he that clone is too sick yeah. and can't work anymore, That's f- and he feels like, oh, I got to take a sick leave. I'm going to yeah. head back home to Earth. Yeah. Little did he know the fucking escape pod <laughs> would kill him and just a new clone would take his place. Yeah. Like, how do I know this is not a clone Carlos? You know we what don't. I mean? Like, we, we don't know. Like, the, you, your hair probably dropped on the ground one day and they, they took that shit. You don't know, bro. Yeah. That's, a, that's that movie, uh, they cloned Tyrone. Remember we talked about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just like that. <laughs> there was a, there was a fall, since we we're talking about the war, there was a fallout. You know the fallout guy? The guy that goes like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there's a whole theory. I didn't know about this. But everybody thinks that the, the cover is just him, like, being nice and giving you a thumbs up. Mm. But the whole reason why is because um that's it's like the rule of thumb to test if you're going to die from a from nuke. From a nuke, right? Yeah, yeah, from yeah, a nuclear yeah, yeah. I think bomb. I heard of that. Yeah. So it's like um when a nuclear bomb detonates, it does this thing where it's like um what do you call this? Mushroom, Mushroom. cloud. Yeah. So if you want to test if you're going to die or not, you stick out your arm and you do this. Mm. And in the cover, he's winking. So he's trying to really see yeah. if he's going to die. But I didn't know that. So if you can cover the, the blast with your thumb, yeah, you're, you're safe. Yeah, you're good. You're good. But if it goes bigger than your thumb, mm-hmm. you're in the radius to die. Exactly. No, that matters. That's exactly still. Up. Yeah. <laughs> see, no, but at the, at the same time, it's like, if that happens, I'm probably not going to be like, <laughs> like, I'll probably just accept my faith. Like, nobody's really doing this. Yeah, yo, like, if I see it, yeah. I had a dream like that, bro. It was sad. <laughs> yo, I'm just mad anxiety dreams. Bro, I, can't. I had a dream like that was so fucking sad, yeah. bro. What happened? I, I was in a car with just like friends, mm-hmm. and then we're driving, and I look in the sky, boom. And I thought to myself, what's weird about dreams yeah. is I think it gets you to feel what you would feel in that moment. Really? So it's deep. I think it's deep that way. Dreams are really deep that way because mm-hmm. it put me exactly in how I would feel if state? I seen that. And I was, it was weird. It was almost yeah. like, damn, the game over. Yeah, that's like it weird. didn't even feel too scary it didn't feel too it's just like what can i do yeah do you take any uh like if you have those dreams or you have bad anxiety do you have pills or something or that you take or what no. do you do you don't you t- don't take no pills right nah. yeah because there was this um dark human experiment yeah that they tried to test on someone with anxiety back then what so it yeah so this was in um i think it was back in the 1900s and there was this girl named gail mm-hmm. and she goes up to the doctor complaining that she had anxiety and the the doctor's like Okay, but they actually have a new treatment mm-hmm. to treat anybody with this disease. You know what I mean? Yeah. So she takes Gail and she goes into the office. She puts her on um, uh, uh, like a chair, like a doctor's chair. Mm-hmm. And she starts, he starts electrocuting her. And back oh, then in the, in the 90s, in the 1900s, this is normal. This wasn't for anxiety though. That was for, no, it was for anxiety. mental illness. No, it was for anxiety too. Because this, this person specifically went up to him and said, I have anxiety. Can that you treat me? That? Yeah. That's So... Uh, she she did he did it again and not telling her fam she shocked her 15 times max dosage damn fam gail went left like the the chair yeah. started crawling on the floor and putting her thumb in her mouth she, uh, her brain was so scrambled that she thought she was a kid again oh my god and that was the whole test so uh, after she got back off the ground, she uh, the the doctor put her in a coma, in a drug infused coma. Mm. And when she was in the coma, uh, the doctor put on tapes. The tapes was like, "Oh, uh, I don't have anxiety. I'm a good uh, person oh, of society." Oh, they're trying to thing yeah. here. Brainwash so the whole her. experiment was to try and like um get her personality out mm-hmm. and implement a new one. But that shit failed because it's like, yo, they kept electrocuting her, kept doing it. It was like. Two months probably. They just let her go after. And what happens to her now? With so all the she's damage, just like she's damaged, fam. Yeah, because back in the day, they didn't know what really worked. They were exactly. just trying. They're just trying. Shit. That's why. That's why it's like such a like we talk about a lot of like human experiments, but this one was so messed up because they literally just let her go. Do you think they ever did that to animals first and then tried on humans? Because maybe it worked on like an ape like way back and then. <laughs> probably not back then. I don't think they're thinking like. Do that. you think they ever got an ape to speak English? <laughs> no. But the closest one was the one that that was telling the hand uh, signs. Yeah, that was like, oh, the Earth is dead. Oh, yo, just re- I saw just recent. They just came out with a thing. What? There's like um, there's like a translator just now. Like uh, they just found out how to link birds, animals through AI. Yeah. 
to English and we can understand it. Okay. So we can find out certain patterns in um, you know how like let's say let's say there's a rhythm and a dog barks in a rrr, rrr, you know what I mean and okay. that means something sad, <laughs> yeah. but if it's like. Rrr, rrr, it's a bit happy. Uh-huh. So they would take that pattern, attach it to different meanings of things using AI yeah. and manage to organize everything into English words. Mm. So AI solved us talking to animals in a sense. Right now. Like, I think it's in the works right now. Fuck, man. See, that's why we can't, like, remember that Planet of the Apes shit that we, yeah. <laughs> that we talked about? It just man- it's going to manifest soon, bro. Because as soon as we know what they're saying, then we can communicate. Oh, that's when it gets bad. Because think- it only takes one guy uh, to, to communicate. Oh, let's do this. Get, yeah. your, get your gang and we'll, we'll rob this. Yo, imagine a bank robbery with a bunch of apes. Who's stopping that? Nobody's stopping this. <laughs> Nobody's though. stopping that. Like, you get a mouse to, to unlock the thing. Yo, it's raps. <laughs> you get a bird to overlook what's happening. That's, oh. that's in a Suicide Squad. There's like a... Oh, yeah? There's a hero. Well, she's a villain. Exactly. She had a wand that can pretty much get rats to do whatever she wanted. It was the most fucking powerful thing because they were in the slums of some village uh, yeah. and she had millions of rats just <laughs> carrying, yeah, just carrying her everywhere, exactly. just killing everybody. It's crazy. Yeah, it's mod, it's mod. I, th- I think, um, <clears throat> I saw recently, this is on TikTok, fam. Okay. There's kids that can only learn now using uh, deep fakes. So what they would do they would deep fake a celebrity or uh-huh. deep fake Mr. Beast or whoever okay. and dub over calculus or dub over whatever they're trying to learn. Oh. Like history, calculus. Because it, it's a it's a friendly face. Yeah. It's not like a teacher. So they're using they're using AI and tech to make uh. it make learning easier and they don't have to watch a teacher not tell them lie, the shit. That's sick. That's Check sick. this out. Because imagine, yo, they learn calculus from jump or jump. That, that makes it way more interesting. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Yeah. Watch this. This is sick though. Look. <laughs> Not Kanye. So bro. Kanye, <laughs> using Kanye's dub, like AI voice, yeah, yeah. he explains calculus. And Kim Kardashian. Oh shit, it actually looks like And it's it's honestly like yeah. it's usable. I would rather I would I would much rather learn like yeah. that. Yeah. I was gonna say because it's like I think the the idea of a teacher and going to school is gonna is like I don't know. It's outdated. So now, like, imagine they have Kanye and you put on your headset. That's a kid's With AI, dream. AI, yeah. yeah. Yo, you can choose your teacher, fam. Oh, yeah? Yo, Who would your teacher imagine be? Imagine that. <laughs> Who would your teacher be? Like, if you want... It has to be something serious. No, no, no. It, it shouldn't be serious. It should, like, I, I want to go to class. Get Learn from, like, Rick from Rick I, no, and Morty. I feel, nah, that would be sick. <laughs> That's yeah, lit. Yeah, I was going to say, but for you, I thought you were going to say Dave Chappelle. Because if Dave I... <laughs> And like he he cracks a few jokes in between characters. That's fire. You know what I mean? That's what he said. I would go to class. I would want to learn through like a cartoon character though. Cartoon? I don't know. I feel like cartoon is too fake. Like like I, I would, wouldn't I take would it serious. I would love that though. I would love like yeah. Rick Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty just teaching me shit. Yeah. Yo, you know I had a dream last night about being in school. Oh, well, what happened? So, yo, I I I don't know why, uh-huh. but it felt as if like. If I went to school now, this is mm. what it would be. Mm. It was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it was? What were you doing? I was like skipping class. I wasn't showing up. I wasn't doing any work. Yeah. And it was making me feel like shit. I was feeling mm. like, damn, like I, I'm not supposed to be here. True. It was weird. It was such a weird dream because it felt real. You know those ones? Yeah. And it's like probably you're living out. That That's a nightmare for you, to be honest. Yeah. It was kind of like a nightmare. That's weird. Because oh. it was it was a, it was a familiar setting. I lived mm-hmm. it before. I seen the halls of the school before. I seen yeah. these classrooms before. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't the same me. Word. It was the me that doesn't want to do the work. It was the me that was looking for something else to do. Yeah. And it was kind of sad. Mm-hmm. It was telling me like, okay, this was you at one point in your life. Yeah. And you were able to succeed in this way. But because you became this person yeah. to succeed in those ways... It doesn't translate the same. But yeah, but usually dreams, like since you dreamed about high school, that's it tells you something. Maybe you're, you are on the right path because this is what you would have been doing. Mm. You know what I mean? Did you see that high schooler? It was, it's trending on TikTok. What happened? The guy who um who jumped the cruise ship on his graduation um uh, trip. Nah, I didn't, didn't? I didn't see this. No. Fam, there's this guy um uh, that, that went on a big trip with a bunch of other high schools yeah. to the Bahamas. And he was dared to jump into the shark infested waters. Oh shit. All because of a dare. And I was like, okay, because if they're going to Bahamas, 
the sharks, that's like the main that's uh, the main danger, bro. Danger like, in Bahamas. Die. And and like witnesses say that he didn't know that it was shark infested. So I'm like, okay, I'll I'll give that point. Mm. And then there was another everybody saying that uh the legal age in America uh to drink is 18. Yeah. So they don't know if um the kids on the, the cruise ship were drinking. Oh, they were drinking. But at the same time, it's a it's a grad trip, so it's like I would I would think that they would you know what I mean? Mm. So he jumps he jumps into the water right, and there's a video of it, and everybody's screaming in the video, "Yo, go to the buoy, go to the buoy!" Right? Yeah. So he's like, "All right, I bet, I bet. I'm gonna listen." He he swims to the buoy, fam. There's something in the video like some white thing in the water, right? Mm -hmm. And he redirects where he's going, so he swims away from the buoy. Oh, and I was like, "What the fuck, fuck are you doing, right?" And as soon as the guy uh. Uh, like dips the video it's like the the ghost thing with the Santa Claus nah. we saw so he got eaten on no, camera fam, fam he just vanished it was either Yo. it was either the current or a shark that got him because literally as soon as it went off nobody was he close to the boat yeah he was oh, fuck. so so some it guy it might have been the current that yeah, pulled so him under some guy said uh, uh to the captain yo someone just went off board bet they put the thing down the, for two hours they, sc uh, they scavenged the area they called the coast guards yeah fam they uh, searched for two days damn and after two days they couldn't even find them they just called off the search Damn. Yeah, so it was like that's that. Sad, oh my bro. god, bro! Like just for a dare, like in to front jump. Of, yeah. Oh my god. Like it's man. not worth. It's not worth. Shit is not worth for the video. Yo, do you, do you ever have those feelings of <laughs> of like danger, and then what? you you imagine what if you did that at that moment? Yeah, yeah. Like you yo, do that too, right? Yeah. When I was okay, in, I'm not crazy for that. <laughs> no, when I was in the Philippines, there was like this make you know like those makeshift zip lines. Yeah. Where, like you know the shit might break on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You imagine it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so no, I went on it. Oh, but okay. but I I went on it and I was like, okay, I'm as soon as they strapped me up on the thing, I was like, yo, just take a picture of me. I'm not going th through this. But I'm like, I was thinking like, what if I did go? So like, you didn't do it? No, I did go. Okay. So like, the thing was, uh, I I I was at the start. They hooked me up and they put me in the air. Yeah. They took a picture and put me off. <laughs> yeah. But imagine, I was thinking like, what if I was brave? And like this makeshift ass uh, thing snapped on me. Like I would have never been here right now. Word. You know what I mean? So do you believe in Final Destination? Yeah, hundred percent. You believe if you're like stupid enough? No, but do you believe if um if you cheated death? Yeah. You can't really cheat it. No, you can't. You, you think can. something else is gonna? Mm -hmm. Really, you believe in that? Yeah, yeah. I don't believe that personally. Really? Why? I don't. I don't. I don't believe that. No, because if it's if it's your specific time to go, they'll do whatever. The world, the universe will do whatever to get you out. You know what I mean? So it's like it may come, but I think personally, if um, like a near death experience happens to somebody, mm. that might just be a lesson, or right. that might just be like something to to let them know about shit. Right. Rather, know. rather than oh, you have to watch your back now. I think it's more of just like maybe you needed to change your life that day, because I heard a lot of stories yeah. of people in near death situations, and they become a whole different person mm -hmm. because they they saw life more precious. And that's what I wrote in my film for yeah. part two is my villain, he attacks people and he targets people yeah. that don't appreciate life. And so, just kills them off. And puts them in near-death situations so that they can oh, learn. So he doesn't really... That's worse. <laughs> I was so like, fuck. If man. you think about it, like it makes you appreciate life because yeah. if you're in a near-death situation, like you almost die. Like You're going you're gonna to want to change. Yeah, that's true. So let's say you're a shitty person. And you didn't care. You didn't like appreciate anybody. Mm -hmm. If you were put as a lesson, like boom, yeah, that shit happened to you. Mm -hmm. How how are you gonna turn out? And maybe you didn't even change. If you didn't change, then shit. Maybe you just like okay. But if if Final Destination isn't real, like remember the the grandma you talked about, um, that predicted someone's death or like can predict someone was death. Like how do you explain those people that predict it? If if there's no really Final Destination. I mean personally, when I hear predictions, yeah, I don't really believe them. Just because, because God supersedes all, feel me? Yeah, like, yeah. Like there, there could be a foreshadow or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But just like that's all Raven. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they see this part of it True. and they don't see the whole picture. Mm -hmm. On some that's all Raven shit. <laughs> so if you say like, oh, one day this person's gonna like die that way, uh -huh. but they only saw one object. But literally, do they know like that object was the thing that saved their life? True, right? Yeah, because there's yo, there's this crazy. I don't know where it's from, but there's this crazy urban legend. I don't know if you uh, heard of Sally Stitches. Nah, I never it's heard this of girl it. who literally can point at a person, say that you're gonna die, and they're gonna die when she says it. What the 
fuck? Yeah. So uh, this is a real person. Real person. Yeah. So this girl lived uh, up in like um some mountain in some or I think it was uh, yeah in the middle of a mountain. Mm -hmm. And then um her personality was like shy and awkward, so she would get bullied a lot, right? And there was one day where these bullies saw her walking through the forest, and like they threw like rocks at her. Yeah. And she would point at one bully and said, "You're gonna die in three days." Damn. So the bully was like, "I right, fuck that. That's just not real." Exactly, fam. On exactly on the th third day, he started coughing up blood. Oh shit! The she went to the doctors. Doctors didn't know what the fuck to do with him. Yeah. And then the doctors like, "Oh yeah, oh he's about to die." On, literally on the third day, once it hit twelve. Mm. So what they did, um, since the whole town was like, "Oh, we know that you can whatever comes out your mouth kind of manifests, right?" Mm -hmm. So they lured her into a mine where, uh, they captured her and tied her up. And the reason why she's called Sally Stitches, they stitch up her mouth. Oh, so she could never say uh, predict a death again. Damn. Yeah. So they stitched that shit up just so that she can yep. predict. And they they kept the mine closed. They put rocks on it. Fam, and she's just, just like somewhere just, hidden exactly. in there. Exactly. And this is where the urban legend gets fucked. This is why I had to tell you it. Yeah. Because um, if you don't, uh, Sally stitches since she's dead. She's gonna haunt anyone that knows what actually happened to her, unless you tell her story to someone else. Oh. But word. if you don't. You, like she's gonna come uh on your bed and no pause. no pause, pause. <laughs> she's gonna come onto your bed yo Sally yo chill chill don't fuck with chill. Sally chill chill chill, chill. <laughs> but she's gonna come on your bed uh, at night and then make sure you don't talk again word yeah like with the stitches and shit yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's like the whole urban legend yeah it's fucked she's gonna come on your bed <laughs> yeah we're fucked <laughs> yo pause <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna come next podcast <laughs> So using the internet without ExpressVPN is like walking your dog in public without the leash on. Most of the time you guys will probably be fine, but what if your dog gets kidnapped one day? It's better to be careful, especially when it's as simple as using ExpressVPN. So every time you connect to an unencrypted network in cafes, hotels, airports, etc., your online data is not secured. Any hacker on the same network can gain access to and steal your personal data. But ExpressVPN creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet so they can't. It'll take a hacker with a supercomputer over a billion years to get past ExpressVPN's encryption. ExpressVPN works on all your devices phone, laptop, tablet, even on your smart TV. And it's so easy to use. Just fire up the app and click one button to get protected. So I strongly recommend ExpressVPN because I travel a lot and whenever I'm in the airports, I like to use the internet. And with the app, all I can do is press a button and I can use the internet knowing that all my information is safe. So get an extra three months of ExpressVPN free at expressvpn.com slash jumpers. That's J-U-M-P-E-R-S. That's expressvpn.com slash jumpers expressvpn.com slash jumpers <laughs> okay <laughs> i always thought though because let, let, let's say let's say a, a real urban legend type of thing yeah but you don't know the names of it you don't know that let's say an urban legend thing uh -huh. like comes to you but you don't know the folklore behind it and it's and it's just like weird it mm -hmm. just looks weird yeah because in my head like if some leprechaun came up to me. You're not taking it serious. Yeah, I'm not going to take it serious. <laughs> like, yo, what the fuck? Not back, back. You get me, though? Yeah. So, I always think about that. Should we know shit? Just so that we can avoid it. And maybe that's why, bare time ago, mm. especially in, like, the Philippines or wherever, where they have, like, hella folklore about yeah. these, like, creatures... That's why they shared those stories because yo, if you don't know what that is, you're in trouble. Yeah, that makes it's like sense. Some it's like a Pokedex. No facts. You know, yeah, you, know, like, you better yo, you better know your your shit. I really back that because it's like yeah, what if no one in the world knew about it? Yeah, like, like then if folklore and urban legends wouldn't exist, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and and what if um that's a real danger because if it comes to you and it's it's a it's a brand new thing. Exactly, you're cooked. That's fine. You're, you don't you don't know the rules. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. You you me? That, that's just not unlocked on your Pokedex. <laughs> that's just not unlocked on Pokedex. You start, you start peeing for five minutes, you do you don't you you try and tap it, tap it, pull off him. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like if you didn't like, like back then. There's a new word. If you didn't know the rules to whatever this <laughs> urban legend is, you're cooked. You're cooked. Like like you meet it face to face and you're like, oh fuck, I don't know this one. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. That's very jokes though. You're gonna have to figure it out. And I guess if you live, you live to tell yeah, the tale yeah. and you just help other people. Yeah, yeah. But you have to respect it, bro. We we don't mean no offense, Sally, bro. Yeah, it's, we're safe, we're safe. <laughs> like I just, I just, I just, yeah, I, I just said the word wrong. <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, there's um, there's a Pokemon theory okay. I never told you about actually. Yeah. W transition. There's a there's a theory. Uh, you know how Ash yeah. he's always being chased by Team Rocket. Okay. And Team Rocket, they always get close to like taking his Pikachu, but they never do it. Mm. There's a theory that Team Rocket. And it goes with the theory, like, who Ash's dad is, because we never see him in the whole anime. I thought he died. Ash's dad, right? Yeah. Just never, is never shown, and it's never, like, told. Mm -hmm. But the one, one big theory is that Ash's dad is the leader of Team Rocket. I was gonna say Giovanni. that. Giovanni. Mm. And he even looks kind of like him. He has the same eyes as Ash. Yeah, yeah. Which is really interesting. But the whole lore with, uh, what's the name? I think is, is the girl, Jesse right? James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So... They're always trying to get Ash's Pikachu. Okay. But the real reason might just be because Giovanni is telling them to watch over Ash. That's why they're Whoa. always in the picture. So those are the two Team Rocket grunts that are sent to look over Ash and make sure that he's okay on these adventures. Mm. And distract him. So every time they always get into a fight with Jesse and James, yeah, yeah, that's their distraction so that he doesn't get in trouble with the other danger where he's around. Mm. So he's distracted to fight Jesse and James, which we know they're, they're easily packable. Feel me? They yeah, always yeah, yeah. blast off away. Facts. But there's other shit out in the Pokemon universe that can be more dangerous. Mm. But the most dangerous parts, Jesse and James usually tackles it on first and then ash doesn't have to fall into the trap okay that that's sick then it's interesting yeah, yeah. wait so so jesse and james are the people with the r yeah right the team rocket and you're saying that the guy with the r looks similar to ash no no or it's, it's it's the boss oh, okay. giovanni giovanni's the boss okay I, I thought you were gonna go into like um that guy uh he had a backstory he had a crazy backstory I what, is it? what is it i forgot but like yeah. it was sad he was a rich kid i think um something happened with his parents and he decided to leave home something oh, like shit. that what the fuck i didn't know there's so yeah, much there's, there's there's buried lore in pokemon <laughs> i thought bro. you were going on the route like uh his dad is that guy and he went on an affair with the 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 pink hair shorty i thought that was going there nah but nah, i think nah. i think i'm i'm deep in it way too much no 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 i don't not i it. don't think pokemon's gonna uh promote nah, it's not shit. like that it's not like that yeah oh there's there's a theory for um avatar though okay that you know katara the waterbender yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. we don't know what happened to her mom sokka and katara's mom we never find out what happened then there's a theory yeah that because all of the water tribe waterbenders were killed mm -hmm. and we never really are told the real reason why. The obvious reason is because they can fight and yeah. waterbenders are dangerous to fire, obviously. Facts, facts. But the real, real reason is because there was a female waterbender that Katara and Aang and Sokka and Team Avatar, they actually came across. Okay. And she's the, I think she's the last female waterbender besides Katara. Yeah. She was captured but escaped from the Fire Nation because she invented a new type of bending, which was what blood bending. Oh, so, blood bending. So what do they, you do with that? Instead of bending the water around, yeah, they would bend the blood in a person and control the person. What? That's so, OP. So check That's this out. OP. Yes. <laughs> so check this out. Now, um, that I forgot her name. I think it's like Hama. I think her name's Hama. Yeah. But she escaped from the Fire Nation. And they deemed her as like that dangerous. She she probably packed Fuck. up everybody yeah, that she's she came like a contact. Tai Long. Yeah. Now, since that case of her was around, mm. they ended up just killing every single waterbender they came across, including the females. Okay. Because at first they would just go after the males, because obviously the males would be the ones to fight. Yeah, yeah. And that's why, like you know, um, I think her name is like Kiyoshi, mm -hmm. the the other warriors. They're all female because those are the only ones left, okay. right? But the reason Katara's mom died yeah. is because the fear of the other women waterbenders could end up as bloodbenders. So and they wanted to eliminate. They wanted to just take out all mm. of them because she might end up as like a bloodbender. But but where did the, the, the bloodbender come from? Is there a theory of how they got that? Because I don't think blood, so bloodbender is happened, not shown in Avatar. Yeah, it is. It is? Yeah, yeah, it where, is. It where? Is. It, it, it's in season one and season two. Or season one. Sorry, season two and in Legend of Korra. Okay, I so, probably forgot. Yeah, now um, the, I think the blood bending came from like the moon because there's yeah. something something with the moon that evolves their powers. Okay, okay, like a red moon type. Yeah, thing. yeah, something like that. But uh, there's another theory though mm. with one of the characters in Avatar yeah. and 
that they're actually not who we think they are. <laughs> so, you know Azula's friend, Ty Lee? So she's, yeah. she's the kid-looking one. She, you know how okay, there's, yeah, yeah. there's Azula, um, Mai, and Ty Lee? Yeah, so, the there's a theory said. that Ty Lee isn't actually from the Fire Nation. She's a traitor? No, she's an airbender. So, check this out. Oh. Check this out. Or she's at least an air nomad. Yeah. Because her facial features, this is the first one. She looks the most like Aang. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm just going to put that one out no, there. No, the fire, the fire thing do look like... They look yeah. alike. They look crazy. They look alike. Yeah, yeah. She has brown hair. She looks like Aang. I'm going to just leave that one out there first. Yeah, yeah. Now back this though. So when the Fire Nation came to kill all of the last airbenders, all of the airbenders, they came to the air no bad temple and just murked everybody, right? Mm -hmm. What if there was a child that one of the Fire Nation warriors decided like, oh, I can't kill this kid mm. and decided to just keep her okay what and if turn her into yeah what if she's actually like an air nomad child oh, that crazy. they just saved and just assimilated her into the into the what do you call it yeah into the fire nation so that they can save her life also tylee she has this ability to do like pressure point things mm -hmm. and make people stop bending but what if her power isn't actually from that yeah. it's actually from something else with the air. Mm. Wait, so she would have two bendings now. She has no, she can't fire bend. Oh, she can't fire so bend. So that's at all? another trigger. That's another like reason why she oh, might not be a, from yeah, the Fire then Nation. That confirms it. What the hell? And this is what's really interesting because we see in Legend of Korra, Tenzin, yeah. Ash's son, when he has kids, they look exactly <laughs> like, like Ty Lee. Like exactly like Ty Lee. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, she's confirmed. Some some uh nice dude in the fire uh thing mm -hmm. got her and yeah, I was like, put hey. up pictures right now. Yeah, they look exactly like firebend. I mean, airbenders. Oh, yeah, no bloodbending. I I forgot that was even a thing, but I feel like still fire is number one, then blood. Fire is number one. Yes, definitely not. Bro, fire. Yo, water's number in, one. In Pokemon, even going back to Pokemon, you choose Charmander. Like, there's no other. I would choose Charmander just because he turns into Charizard. <laughs> yeah, I know, but that's still OP. You know what I mean? No, but you can fly. That's how I would choose Charizard. I guess. I would choose water, water bending any day, fam. Water bending. What are you gonna too? do with fire? How what? often do you use a lighter? No, but fam, you just light someone on fire. That's it. Yeah, but you know like, what I mean, I can punch you with water, fam. That's crazy. Let's just put a fire. There's, there's water everywhere. Like I can literally get like a huge ball of water just going like this. Man. Loki, I take it back. I can bend the pee in your body and just like whip you in the face. Pause. Not a buff. Yo, fire, fam. Actually, no. Water mind. takes out fire, bro. Like there's no, there's no, no debate was, here. Yeah, never mind. I was gonna say because usually when I play Pokemon, I usually choose a water just because it could defeat. It's the only one that could defeat Charizard. Yeah, yeah. yeah or any fire. I think. Um, I don't know if you knew this, but uh -huh. in Avatar, there's different like special bending. So yeah. firebenders can uh, electricity bend. Oh, okay, what the yeah. hell? Yeah, uh, earthbenders can metal bend. Yeah. Waterbenders is the is the blood bend. Damn. And I, f I don't know what the air one is. So waterbender has blood bend too? Yeah. Oh, that's OP. What the fuck? Put me on that Because it's team. the same thing. Yeah. Because water and water's in your blood too, right? That's crazy. That's nah, what I'm saying. Is it, it was OP. Yo, now we got to make, now I got to make you know the Avatar. Skrillex, you know that Skrillex music video on Bangarang? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, you know where like the kid goes like this and uh, goes, and then like the milkman is is, is like in the yeah, air like and that's, shit. That's blood bending. Oh, word. that's what blood bending looks like. You know, you know what? Uh, that the, there was this guy who um danced to the pumped up kicks and like you know the techno remix. I don't know. It's super vile. Back then, like he was the. Wait, what are you talking? Are you so, talking so, about so, the was, the one with all the it was the, the goth guy. the goth people no, under the no, bridge? No, 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 no. Not that one. No, no, no. I know what you're thinking about though. It was the black guy like that did the robot movements and he was like. Doo -doo 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 and and yo, that was the only time when I was singing like pump dub kicks mm. like every day and it was until like uh what do you call it i think it was uh, when i was older yeah that was um for uh school shooting no or that was yeah, yeah that the, was because it's like yeah the lyrics behind it actually talk about i didn't about know that yeah a school shooter fam. and recently um i think it was like two weeks ago i found out umbrella was about fucking thing you know wait what's it about about like coochie under, under my, my umbrella, umbrella ella because like it, maybe you're not circumcised no, no what no no it's like no never mind we're not gonna get deep into that because we're gonna get flagged <laughs> we're gonna get flagged <laughs> you know um there's this famous song i don't know if you know it like uh, 99 enough balloons you heard that song? i think i have 99 na, 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 okay yeah, na, yeah. Na, 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 right yeah so it's in german uh-huh yo the lyrics to that song is fucking sad fam. what what is like it? 
we're singing this song as if it's like a happy shit because it is happy. It sounds happy. Okay. But the real meaning behind it and the story is fucking sad. What is it? So the story is if you translate it to English, mm. 99 red balloons. So what happened was these two kids, yeah. they would go to a store and buy red balloons for fun, right? They okay. just want to have fun. This was at a time, I think it was during like World War II. Mm. But what they did, they put up all those balloons, filled it up into the sky. So that when they flew up, there's like so many. But what they didn't know uh. was that when the air raid would happen and the planes would fly over them, yeah. they would see it on their radar as target. So what? it would pop up as target on That's the radar. Fuck. So the kids put up all those balloons. To like trick it. Like this is a target. You have to shoot this down. Yeah, but it backfired because it ended no! up shooting everybody that's below including the kids no yeah that's fucked. and that's in the song that's like yeah and you know that song um my he my yeah there's dark shit about that you didn't know it's not as dark but what it's about is like it's pretty much about this guy that wants to kill himself because a girl broke his heart. Okay, yeah. And like he doesn't want to live anymore. Mm. Th- that's much. the same shit with um I took a pill in Ibiza. Yeah. And Avicii thought I was cool. Cause that guy, um, he spent, I think, um, he spent his last savings on a trip to Ibiza. Wait, right? that but, was that yeah. was when he died? I don't think that's when he no, died. That, though. That's not when he died though. But he was like in depression. Like, imagine like your final stages. You're like, okay, fuck it. I'm gonna go to an Avicii concert in Ibiza. Mm. So he took his last thing. And then he took a pill, obviously, and then uh, they linked up, and that was a, his hit song. What's his name again? I forgot, oh. man. He's a he's a it's legend. A, he's a I legend, I was going to say bro. David Guetta, but that's not No, not it's not David Guetta. Guetta. It's a legend, Oh, bro. no, it was... Oh, it's not Mike Posner. It's fucking... No, it's not, Mike, not Mike Posner. It's his friend. Yeah, something, Mike yeah. Posner's the one that sang it, though. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. But the one that... Wait, was, is it Mike Posner? I took a pill. Let's just search it up. I took a pill at a visa. No, it's a VT that died. You're mixing it up. Mike wait. Posner's the one that made the song. Avicii's the one that died, bro. Oh, wait. Did Avicii die? No, hold on. Fuck, I feel bad, bro. Search up. Yeah, yeah. It was him that died. Okay. But, but it was Mike Posner. It was Mike Posner singing Yeah, yeah. It. Okay, yeah. Nah, that's fucked. But one song that will always get me in the feels is like, oh, fuck. What's that song? It's like, uh, when I was young. Sweet, Swedish House Mafia. Yeah, yeah that that one. I'm talking about. Yo, I don't know why, but whenever that song, it just reminds Upon me. Upon a hill of yeah. on the blue lake. <laughs> That's not great. It's on my bucket list to see that shit like I, either in a rave or in concert, just like Swedish House Mafia. Yeah, that was a, that Come was a on, banger of a song. Like it just it, reminds that, you. That, that that reminds me of grade seven. Yeah, that made that made me want to fall in love in grade seven, even Real though I don't shit. know what that shit meant. Real you know what shit, I mean? bro. That had me thinking, like, you know what's funny? What your idea of what love is when you're a kid is so different from what it is now, right? Mm, yeah. Or is that just me? Uh, yeah, no, it's it's facts. It's yeah. different because they say they say. Um, a pure, the purest form of love that you will ever have in your life is when you first get with your first girlfriend, mm. and then everything after is either you, uh, you have to grow from it or you chase that feeling, uh, that girl again. You know what I mean? But it's your purest form. Do you think a stronger love is a love that requires sacrifice? Yes, hundred percent. Because it's like love with no fights is um, there's no growth. And you're supposed to grow with a partner. So you think if it's too easy off the jump, yeah, it won't last. Yeah, even in the the new um the new movie, the one anyone but you, that's the reason why the the ex broke up because there was no fights, and it was too comfortable. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah, I didn't watch it. Yeah, but it was too comfortable. And the, that, no, but that's a in many relationships, if there's no fights and mans get too comfortable, you can only talk to a person. You know what I mean? And do the same shit over again. Go out for dinner, talk about the same stuff. Fam, if you're hanging out with your girlfriend for. Tw- uh, every maybe three days out of the week you get bored sometimes you know what i mean word so there has to be some type of some, some type, drama some so drama you th- <laughs> like at least like like this is the line so is it bad to what is it bad to stir up stir up stuff <laughs> nah. for the sake of like okay no stuff up? i think that's more toxic but it's like it has to come naturally what if i'm naturally like that though because i always toxic. do that i yeah. do that sometimes is that a red flag mm, nah Cause it, it keeps the thing entertaining, fam. You can't it's entertaining, always... right? Like yeah. it's it's a joke, obviously. Yeah. Like, I say I'll say some out of pocket stuff, but yeah, as yeah. a joke. Mm-hmm. But even just the auto... 
yeah, like even what just saying like out of pocket stuff, it, it, it's kind of fun, you know. Yeah, because my love language is annoying you to the point where you should be able to to take it and and laugh back at it. You know what I mean? Mm. If a girl can't do that, I can't be with you. You know what I mean? Because I'm I'm gonna be annoying. But if like <laughs> if if you do that to me, oh yeah, I love that fam because it's it's always exciting. There's always something new. Yeah. You know I mean? Do you think if she did the same thing to you, yeah, it would work? But it has to. <sighs> See, that's the thing. Because, like, I feel whatever you like to do... Yeah, you can't do it. It doesn't work the same... It can't be reciprocated the same way. Like, it doesn't feel the same. It's like you have the hack for the video game. It's not, it doesn't feel right. Yeah. What do you think? Probably. I don't know. Yeah, because right now she that's doesn't do that. That's a great question, actually. Yeah. Because I'm curious. If um, if you understand somebody too much, mm-hmm. is, that the, is that a downfall or is that oh. good? Cause I That's feel bad. I feel having somebody that doesn't show everything right away, mm-hmm. it gives you that incentive to like learn more deeply about them. You know. That's true. Yeah, yeah. it's like more more curious. You shouldn't give it up to yourself right away. Did you see that uh, video when um uh, all the guys are lined up and the girls are asking like, "When's the last time you cried?" And then all the guys say, "Nah, probably like uh, uh, years." Right. Yeah, yeah. And there's this one guy that goes. Oh yeah, I think I cried like yesterday because um my friend died and like I was going through it and then everybody's like, "Oh, all the girls, right?" Mm. Bam, immediately when the round's over, choose who you want to eliminate. The guy who admitted that he he cried. Yeah. And yeah. and all his things. Fam, what? This guy was just being a, a nice guy. You guys were all saying, "Oh, but then you don't want him." Come on. That makes sense though. Yeah, it's true. Cuz it's like you you don't want to see weakness or like you no. don't want to expose that right away. As as sad as it is, and as so much like people want to say, oh, yo, open up this and that. You can't. That's not what they really want. Yeah. That's not what they really want, yo. As sad as it is, like you yeah. should open up to your homies, yes, hundred yeah. percent, and do that. I rather you do that than anything else, and mm-hmm. do it to the right people. Yeah. But it sucks because like we're told one thing and it doesn't work, fam. Yeah. You know that Drake thing. So there was there was this whole um, there's this whole like culture going around when Drake was talking about his feels and stuff. This was okay. early Drake I'm talking yeah, yeah. about. And that's when rappers were kind of clowning him mm-hmm. because it it created a whole culture of guys being sensitive. Okay. But what they didn't realize was being sensitive didn't really work. And it created what happened. It created more fuck boys. Yeah. Because why? Because their heart got broke. Mm-hmm. And then now you have, instead of a whole culture of these sensitive people, because they got their heart broke, they became fuckboys. Yeah. And then what happened to Drake's music? It assimilated to yeah. the fuckboy era. You know what I mean? Mm, like, certified listen, level listen to the lyrics and listen to like how it changed throughout the years. Yeah. It was soft at first and everyone was feeling that way. Yeah. And then when they got their heart broken, they became a different person and the, the music evolved with it. Yeah. Artists are smart like that though. Yeah, they take their following and understand like what they're going through and who they really are. Mm-hmm. And they feed them, like, who they became. Yeah, because I obviously don't think that, like, he did that to push an agenda. Like, the government gave him money to push this No, agenda. no, no. I don't think it's, it's just understanding your audience. Yeah, That's exactly. what I think it is. Yeah. Like, you're not going to feed your puppy senior food. You're going to, when your puppy grows older, you feed it the senior dog exactly. food. I mean, yeah. For and, all the dogs. Yeah, and he, like, it's good because, like, people relate with emotions. And if you can tell it through a story, fam, through three albums, it's different themes. Like, honestly, never mind. Oh, yeah. Right after the certified lover boy, you guys broke up. Mm. You know what I mean? And then right after that, you know? If you became a rapper, what song, what or like, what type of music would you make? Oh, probably like plug, like underground, like the shit I'd listen to that you guys don't like. Like, the, yeah. Yeah. But like, would you do something that's different what you hear right now? No, I would, I would copy it and like change 3%. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I would copy the exact same because whatever works, yo, you can speed run. No, but okay. If you just want to make music, I'm not saying to be successful oh, okay, or to okay. be like what a I copy. Like? Yeah. Mm. What would you make? What type of music would you want to hear and, and make? Yeah. Because so maybe like, it is that. Maybe yeah. it is that. So it'd be like, it's called plug B, plug and B. Yeah. So it's like trap, but with R&B melodies. Mm. So I, I don't want to like be- Like Tory Lanez type? Yeah. But like trap. Type like it's mixed into it's like autumn like everyone that like listens to autumn like he'll, you understand it's mm. sad boy shit with a trap beat you know what I mean yeah so I would make that because I'm not the type of guy to be like to be the logic you know what I mean guy or like the hard I bars feel like that's I'm not kinda, the, I feel like that's gone now yeah it is nobody really raps like that anymore exactly. besides J Cole <clears throat> Kendrick doesn't even like rap like that anymore yeah that's exactly. not even there anymore shit. Mm-hmm. What would you make? What type of music? You, I, would I make? feel like you would make Dominic Fike type music. To be honest, like you and your guitar. I wouldn't. Yeah, like, I wouldn't. I don't think I would rap. Yeah, 
I would probably like saying. Yeah. Or like Eric. Do you know that Eric, I can Eric sing. DOA? He's, no, I don't know who oh, that is really? actually. He's just like the guy. You know the guy that. I wish Ninja got a low taper. F- oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he—he he, that I was just a thing like that. No, but though. that was a parody. But like, he does shit on his guitar, and he d- he does make like Dominic type. Mm. Okay, if if you had all of the assets of your AIU, yeah, and you don't have to make the content that you're doing right now, mm. so without like sacrificing painful work of doing shit yeah you can ai let's say it's the most advanced ai right okay you can make any video you want what type of content would you be making oh where you don't have to do it yourself but you get to experience yourself doing it i don't know i I feel like i would ai all since we're not doing it now i would just ai AI all our homies and just turn it to the group channel you know what i mean that's sad though that's sad because it's like like, we could do that right now because we could do that that in real life we're not doing that (laughs) That was a sad answer, bro. That's a sad Fuck. answer. Like, yo, our homies are alive, bro. Yeah. Alive God. and well. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the first thing that came into my mind. I would literally start AI JK. I would, J- I would AI. Oh, no. This is what I would do. JK party? <laughs> no, 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 no. I would AI myself and bring back all the uh, nostalgic YouTubers and create the super Marvel. Like, oh, that's pretty Avengers sick. of the... I would have Ryan Eagle with me. I would have like... Like PewDiePie, Prime mm. PewDiePie, just all in a in a a party channel. Oh, that's, that's pretty sick. That's a million dollar de- idea right there. Yeah, Fuck, that's pretty someone's hard. Someone's gonna take that. Because if you could really like, damn, do you think we're gonna get to that point? Yes. Where it's just almost <laughs> almost like a video game, like a skin. <laughs> yo, Man, Kim Kardashian's teaching yo, math, bro. Yo, that's fucked. Imagine yeah. it just becomes like a skin. So like you crazy. can just get your skins, fam. Oh that's fucked. So instead of getting like the ninja skin, you actually get Ninja the Creator, and he's in your content. <laughs> what the fuck? And I would have missed Mr. Beast in one. Uh, what do you call this? It- yo, I don't know if you ever watched um Blade Runner, no. Blade Runner Two, but no. there's an AI in Blade Runner Two where it's so advanced, it just becomes like a real life person. It's a it's an AI like a hologram. But it feels like a real person can connect with you, yeah. has real emotions type of thing. Okay. So imagine we get to the the advanced technology of that, mm. where we can do that and get somebody to talk with us as a friend, but we get to choose like who it could become. Oh. So you can get it as fuck Lil Yachty as your homie. Yeah. But he's a hologram, but he's acting with you and like talking to you as how he would. Yeah. That's crazy. See, yeah, is that sadder? No, I because uh, there are benefits. Because it's not of it. real, but because there's some people that can't connect in certain ways, right? That's what I'm saying. So which is which is good. Yeah, like if I'm depressed and I I can uh, formulate any type of friend, I would. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because that's my last hope. But yeah, I feel like if you're if you're trying to no, it's not long term is gonna doom society though because everybody's just gonna take the easy route. Yeah. Yo, you know um. <laughs> Did I ever tell you the Wally theory? Nah. I think I, I saw this on Matt. Is it the Matt one? The Matt Pat one? Say it. it, say so, it. so it's the one where, like, this is the obvious one where Wally doomed everybody yeah, exactly. in the future. Mm-hmm. That's the obvious one where because he got everyone to come back down to Earth when it wasn't actually supposed to be <laughs> inhabitable yeah. and everyone died, what it was actually supposed to represent, and I didn't bag this, uh-huh. yo. Wally giving the plant to the other robot. You know what that was? What? You know what that was symbolism for? What, we killed off all the humans? No, that was actually symbolism for the devil tempting Eve with the apple. Whoa. So what's the name of the robot Wally gave the plant? Eve. Whoa, I didn't even And that. what is that land supposed to be? It's like, you Earth. know, the it, it's supposed to be the, the forbidden mm-hmm. place, right? Oh, so shit. when... So this is what it actually was. Yeah, yeah. The story, like in the Bible too, since Eve sinned, it pretty much doomed the rest of humanity because now they have the the first sin, right? Mm, yeah. And then that's why when you get baptized, it forgives us for the original sin. Yeah. You know that, right? Mm-hmm. In the first sacrament. Yeah. Now, bringing all of those people, it that was a representation of dooming mankind. True. Because now they're coming down to where it's uninhabitable and yeah. they're not supposed to be there. So theory is like what ended up happening since all of those people are like what? Like fat, uninhabitable, mm-hmm. and they can't live anymore. Yeah. Theory goes that what they did was eventually they just took their consciousness yeah. and put it into technology. That's so fun, they became man. themselves like Eves and robots or yeah. whatever because they can't live physically as that. Yeah. And where did that lead up to? 
this is where it gets even crazier. Mm-hmm. It actually ties in all of the Disney Pixar movies that came after Wally. So okay. after Wally, what came after? Cars. And then what is Cars? The mm. consciousness of humans inside technology, oh, and they're living as a it, new it, it, environment. Oh and then that's why in Radiator Springs, it looks just as bad as like how Wally looked. Oh, and shit. there's even like subtle hints of the city that was the same in Wally and in cars. So all of those cars are actually just human consciousness put into technology of the automobiles. And then what happens after? Uh-huh. Now, this is the theory that eventually the cars universe had to collapse because nothing can really last forever like that right yeah so theory goes that eventually life was able to inhabit itself Uh and you know how there's like mad scientists in in cars Uh something went wrong but what's the what's the movie after cars that came out i don't know the pixar movie after cars what was it zootopia so after cars Yo. what became the next thing living on the planet would probably be whatever life rather than humans that's that was still wild. available to be there and what if like on a deeper level that uh-huh. thing we were talking about like what if they instead of putting their consciousness in tech they put it into like animals that's, that's so... why they can speak english and that's why it's a little bit more natural right yeah now back this what's the movie that came after zootopia was it souls that but there's another one oh, okay. there's, there's there's a more important one and i'm talking like the societal movies okay. you know the ones that are like was it the, the based one with on the world that okay i was gonna say the emotions the one. most the most recent no what was it elementals oh. And you know what Elementals is? This is even, this is why it's so weird because it gets like so much more deeper. Yeah. Because we went from regular humans <laughs> to technology to what if our consciousness goes into animals now? Mm-hmm. Now, what if our consciousness goes into literal matter? Elementals is a world where all of the living beings are either water or fire, oh, and their consciousness is all collective water or all collective fire and it's natural elements that just exist so what if like some next shit happened what if what if like the next big bang happened or whatever right Mm. but the consciousness of life had to go somewhere yeah and what if it went to whatever is left and what what could be left is literally like water fire whatever elements elementals is left behind. God damn. I didn't know Disney's it was going to get deep, that bro. I didn't know it was going to get that deep. And then boom, they, they tease us with souls because this is what actually happened. Like you go up to yeah, heaven. Yeah, what if that's thing. like, that, what if that's like even after? Yeah. No, that's crazy. Because there's so many different um movies like that where Pixar movies specifically, yeah. you're like, yo, we're, where is this headed type of thing? Because obviously it's just for fun. Yeah. But that's like the, the easy route. But as an artist, I'm sure there's somebody that would think like, Okay, where do where do we head with it, or what mm-hmm. what's the origin of it? Like, why do these things exist, right? Yeah, the red panda one that was was that after elementals? Yeah, but that I don't think that's, that's not that, like that's society. not yeah that's, that's not like, like societal of, type of mm. thing. That's not like a universe of things, okay, right? Holy shit! But maybe at the, what what comes after souls then? I don't know. I, like, or elemental? Whatever happens after that? Yeah, after elemental, maybe avatar. Go <laughs> <laughs> back. In. Yo, you know what they say? Yeah. They say um Pokemon uh-huh. is actually Avatar just in the future. What do you mean? So With the animals? Pokemon universe is actually Avatar, but the Pokemon universe is like later. So But how it, does that even relate though? Because the elements. And all the Pokemon have a different type. Oh, all of the so people that, can bend oh. differently. And all of the creatures coincide with the people that can bend. Like mm-hmm. the water, the water benders, they yeah. have animals that can also use water. Yeah, yeah. All of the firebenders have Aang's lemur and Appa are, are airbenders, they, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh. what if it's connected to Pokemon? The animals. That makes sense though. Have you have you ever played the Cash Crash game? Since we're talking about animals, it's the like cat's uh, crash. it's it's like the it war, right? War. It, it's like I know cat scratch the 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 three cats. The what? There's like three cats and then they fight each other. Nah, nah, nah. It's oh, not we're talking that. about something else. Yeah, I think yeah. it's called cats. That's called okay, cats. cats. Yeah, no, but there was this trending game on TikTok that was going around. It's called the cat scratch game, and this is something like you play like during a sleepover because you just want to fuck around and see what happens, right? Mm-hmm. So one person has to be sitting cross-legged on the floor. And then another person has to be, their head has to be on your lap. So like, just like this, like laying down, right? Yeah, yeah. And you have to tell a story about a cat, right? While you're like rubbing 
the person's head, mm -hmm. right? So an example would be like, oh, uh, this my grandma had a cat. It was beautiful and it purred. And then you have to say after every sentence, you have to say cat scratch, cat scratch, cat scratch, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, oh, but this cat, but my cat uh, ran it got hit by a car and the grandma also did too cats guys and you keep going right yeah yeah and when the person stands up you have to tell them to to show their back why and if you did the game right and everybody uh that i was reading did the game there was three cat scratches oh. on i'm just kidding oh, <laughs> that was good that was <laughs> on their back yeah yeah fuck yeah it was fucked but one person said that when they were trying to take a photo right of the the uh the cat scratches uh, their phone on full battery died. Oh, that's crazy. And and when they recharged it, the photo was gone. Nah, that's <laughs> fucked. So I, I, the person said that there were no like demons involved, but I don't, I feel like that is some. Yo, the scariest shit, like one of the scariest ghost stories ever told to me yeah. was from Sasha, like in the old Jumpers stories. Okay. Yeah, in her yeah. old Jumpers episodes. She told me this story where um she had a friend that she had like a dream of yeah. being haunted. I and, think I remember this. And then when she called her, she, like uh, later, she called Sasha like, yo, I've I've had like some, there's an issue. And the parents like, they woke up and saw her, there's scratches on her back. Oh my God. Like literally, God. like that's crazy. Yeah, that's When it comes up. physical. Yeah. So I was watching um, the, you know, the people that continued Ed and Lorraine, the conjuring people. Oh yeah, yeah. They, they continued the investigations mm -hmm. and all of those um like exorcisms yeah there's somebody that went and continued their work he went to this one house that was getting like ghosts or whatever poltergeist experiences happening mm, yeah. and he had a presence right oh he felt something right yeah he, not ghosts nothing about ghosts he but he looked at there was a mom a dad and a son he looked straight to the son he said what are you hiding here? Wait, and I, like real people or yeah, ghosts? Real people. What the fuck? And he went to the sun and, and he said like, what are you hiding? I know you're, there's something here, right? And the kid's like, nah, what are you talking about? There's, there's nothing. Yeah. He looked at the parents like, you know, he's lying. And he goes and says it with a deeper voice. Like, just tell me, wh where is it? That's what he said. Where is it? Okay. And the kid's like, he's in shock. The kid goes into his room. Yeah. What does he pull out? He goes under his bed and he pulls out a satanic Bible. And the guy pretty much said, the reason the house was getting all of these poltergeists and all these hauntings happening to him mm -hmm. is the kid confessed and said he was trying out like oh. rituals from yeah, that Bible. From the Bible. It's fucked. Fuck. From the satanic Bible. That's so fucked. Yeah. You know what's crazy? There's... um. You know that face of like how like the devil's red and has horns and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And there was a whole bunch of masks made for that and like witches' masks and all that shit. Yeah. You know why that's actually um linked to satanic rituals? Wow. It's not just because of the mythology of it and shit like that. Mm -hmm. The real reason is because this is what they would actually do though. Mm -hmm. They would kidnap kids. And you know the adrenochrome? Yeah. They would kidnap kids and do the ritual. They would take a cup, drink their blood, yeah. and they would get like the high off of it, right? Yeah, that's the But theory. in order to get the adrenaline in their bloodstream, what do they have to do? Why? They have to scare the kids. So in order to scare the kids, With though, the masks? They would wear the masks. Mm. Like those creepy, weird masks. Yeah. And that's why, that's really why they have masks. Not just to hide their identity, True. but to scare them so that they could get the adrenaline in their bloodstream. Mm. And that's like the element that makes the blood drinking, yeah. you know what I mean, worth it for them. No, nah, there's some, there's also some shit that I've seen about that where um, there's a club. Because you know, like the 33 club and like the people that throw these like little hints in with the pizza parties, right? Mm. So I don't know if you ever heard the Red Shoe Club. Nah. Okay, but I, I can't get too deep in it because it's fucked, but it's like... Do your own research, but in certain pictures, if you realize what shoes they're wearing, it'll always be like a red heel, a red fully red, red bottoms, red yeah, red bottoms, fully red shoes. What does that represent? Like blood, walking on blood. Yeah, exactly. So those are the people that you know. What I mean, no, but that's just Christian Louboutin, fam. No, 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 no. There's a picture of okay. I, there's a picture where every single one in the the photo, and they're going like this to show off. 
the red shoe. Oh, word. Yeah, this is the actual thing. It was red shoe, th- red shoe club. Maybe it has something to do with Wizard of Oz, the red shoes. <laughs> a lie, maybe. Yeah. No, because it's all connected, right? Like, you don't know. A lie. Follow the red, yellow brick road and you'll... <laughs> but as soon as... Uh, what do you call this? Um... Because I haven't been going to church uh, recently, but then I started going again. Mm-hmm. And then, bro, this last week, I've been blessed hella time. Yeah. Because that last time, um, the security at the Tekka concert was so strict, bro. There was literally like a 1% chance that I was getting on stage. Mm-hmm. Right? And then I, I, I remember I was wearing my rosary. And whenever I wear I wore my rosary, it, everything good happens. Mm-hmm. So it's like, they let me in. I, I just have to say this. Oh, I'm, I'm media. That's it. And they let me in. Yeah. Uh, I got on stage. Boom. Right? The next day, I go to this uh, random thrift shop. And I, 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 this guy recognized me. Oh, you're that guy from the podcast, bro. Yo, bro, get whatever you want, bro. Like, we just do a video after. Like, like get $100 worth of clothes. Damn. Like, what the fuck is yeah, going yeah, on yeah, right sick. now? And I'm like, yo, every time I just keep touching my rosy, like, yo, thank yeah. you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's like so, some things is like when, you, when you're grateful for stuff and you're not asking God for, for things, mm-hmm. that's when uh, he gives you stuff. Because now whenever I pray, I don't ask him for stuff. I say, oh, I already know you're going to bless me. I'm going to take whatever comes. Yeah. And that's when, that's when um, stuff has been going you know, right. Mm-hmm. I think I think what you have to focus on too is instead of considering those things as blessings, yeah. the materialistic things, think of what else is there. Yeah. Because that's the one thing that can get you excited and gets your attention, which is good. Mm-hmm. That gets your attention to where your face should be. Mm-hmm. But realize like, okay, what is the true blessing beyond that? Yeah, yeah. Like what am I blessed with aside from like these things that I could just receive? Yeah, yeah. Because a lot of the times it's shit that we can receive, receive, receive. But we don't really realize like Loki, the biggest blessing is the opportunities to do things mm. like instead of receiving, we have the opportunity to give. Yeah. And there was this, um, there was this quote. I don't know if it's a quote or even just a, a famous story about in, it's like all ancient folklore, mm. but they asked, what is heaven compared to hell? Yeah. And this elder said, hell is, there's a huge buffet, all of these different foods, your favorite foods, Mm -hmm. and you have chopsticks. But when you try to pick it up, you can't get it. And that's what hell is. But what is heaven? They asked. He said, heaven is, you have the same chopsticks and it's still the same. You can't pick up the food. Yeah. But everybody else is feeding each other. Mm. And that's the true, that's the real blessings. It's like, rather than you receiving thing, it's more about, giving you can give you yeah. you you're able to give right mm-hmm. that's why that's why i felt right when um because uh, that video i posted on my instagram the mm-hmm. guy with the hat yeah because yo the whole concert like i was in the vip area and mm-hmm. he wasn't even paying attention to tech half the time he was trying to get my attention right mm-hmm. so i'm like bro you're like i i went over there like oh, i turned up with him and then um before i had to leave he said how much was the hat mm-hmm. and then i i left for a bit and i was like yo bro i I should just give this guy my hat because he's been wanting my attention this whole time. Like, it feels yeah, good yeah, to yeah. give. So I gave it off my head, you know what I mean? And I don't know why, but that felt better than anything exactly. I've done. Exactly. You know what I mean? And that's, that's for a reason. Yeah. And that's for a reason. That's why you get so much, Um, you get a great feeling of you doing the right thing all exactly. the time and as it should be. Yeah. Because that's what I think is helping everyone else mm-hmm. is you giving a little bit of yourself and your time to do something good for someone else That's rather true. than you just receiving it that makes think of it this way like you receiving something makes it that much easier for you to give something mm. right facts, facts. rather than just like oh receive 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 yeah nah i receive and it makes it easier for me to realize oh i have an abundance for me to give mm-hmm. right because you're already grateful exactly yeah. and those people that have the mindset of oh, I don't have enough, I don't have enough. Those are the ones that can never give because they have that mindset of like, maybe I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. When you change your mindset to an abundance, then it becomes so much easier to like, yeah. you know what? Yeah, I can help this person, I can help this person in my life. Yeah, that's and fact. those are the things that change shit. Mm-hmm. Those, are, those are the things that change lives. Those are the things that change the world, yeah. you know? That's why I want to go to the Philippines so bad because I just want to get away from like this lifestyle for a bit. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. it's so fast. And like what were you saying? Like, oh yeah, trying to live slow motion for once. You know what I mean? So I feel like trips to the Philippines are about to be regular, bro. I've been living kind of slow motion recently. Yeah. Like a little bit. Just just not when I'm working. When I'm working is just always I gotta get shit done. No, but it's like it's like when I've 
like I've always tried to like whenever you ask me, oh, what's your purpose? And yeah. like I, I haven't found it. But it's like recently, it's like I I feel like I've been getting closer, and it's it's a thing of like yo, everything's on my mind. I gotta go fast now because I'm almost there. You know what I mean? Mm. I feel it. Yeah. So it's like fuck. It's like is this is this really what finding my purpose is, or is this just me overthinking? I don't know. I don't know. I think that's the mystery of it because yeah, you're not supposed to understand yeah, life, bro. Exactly. If you understand life, then what's the purpose of it? You exactly. know. Exactly. Because I was, I'm out of school right now, and I'm um on the days I'm not doing anything, it's mad depressing because it's like yo, I should I should be grateful that I'm even here right now. I should be doing something. I feel bad. You know what I mean? You know what keeps people like that though is yeah. is just bad habits. Yeah. And honestly, that's why that's why I preach so much. Like, make sure you're doing. Because as as simple as it is, we're told all the time, like, yo, eat your vegetables, you know what I mean? Go exercise, like, w- go to sleep properly. We're told these things, bro. Yeah. We're told to, like, treat people with respect. Yeah. But we some people just still don't do it. Mm-hmm. What if, what if I told you, like, your life would change immensely, crazy amount, if you actually did those things we're told were good for you? But maybe that's why they're put on the earth. So it's like, they serve as a resource to others. Or maybe they've got to, like, I don't know. Like, maybe that was their purpose. To help someone recognize, oh, this, this is not the life I, I want to live. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because if it was that easy, then shit. There would be no, no no violence or corruption anywhere. I think it's just like that because it's not promoted. Yeah. I don't know. Right? Yeah. And that's why Jumper Jump fans, yo, promote that good, that good vibe, that good energy. Because that's what we want, bro. Like, we don't want any of this other shit, like... Mm-hmm. Forget the drama, forget all that stuff. Just stay open minded, keep telling stories, and have yeah. a good time doing that and bring up the good vibes. Exactly. Because right. that's what this is about. All of the conspiracy theories, it's fun so that it gets your brain open. And then once you have your homie open, yeah. they're ready to receive more gifts. Yeah, they're, they're ready to understand and, and open to hearing you tell them about, yeah. you know, faith, Facts. telling Facts. them about other things. Facts. I've been manipulated. <laughs> what the 174 epilo- episodes you could just tell Carlos just manipulated me <laughs> I'm just kidding yo 48 laws of power is going to I'm I'm playing, I'm playing. I'm like, yo whole time yo on like the 200th episode yo you're just the, you're just the experiment <laughs> yo, it imagine, worked yo imagine I'm like I'm like I, I, I say I say a trigger word yeah. like red blue <laughs> red blue 17 and then, I, and, and then you go <laughs> like yeah, and I'm you, like the matrix is real. Uh, <laughs> and like the whole time I was I was like prepping you for shit. A lie. <laughs> like Holy little fuck. little brainwashes. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh man. Alright, if you made it to the end, just to make everybody mad confused. Does everybody mad confused? Say, yo, the ending of Spider-Man Wrath was crazy. <laughs> the movie's not even out yet. <laughs> W promo. <laughs> the movie's not even out yet. But comment down below and people are gonna be mad confused. Yo, the, the search bar will finally now be <laughs> rap ending. It'll be jumpers jump rap ending. <laughs> Movies coming out soon though, March 12th. That's Hopefully nice. you guys get to see it right away. Hopefully there's no like yeah, yeah. I always been delaying it, but I think this is the one, guys. This Thank you everyone for supporting it. Comment, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Yes, sir. Uh, go down to Spotify, Apple. Keep downloading those episodes and give us a five star. We love you guys. And jumpers jump out. Deuces.